What's going on, Gallery? Peanut back here again today. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Maybe you go ahead and hit that subscribe and notification bell button. We're always trying to put out new videos on a weekly basis. Guys, if you like what you see, give me that thumbs up and maybe leave a comment below. It does really help us out. But today, what we're going to do is kind of go over a controller that I mentioned a couple weeks back on, on the channel, and that's the M30 by 8 bit dough. We're going to do the unboxing here. Guys, I really do enjoy this controller. It kind of brings me back to that Sega Genesis controller that I used to play and love so much when I used to play Street Fighter, the six button. This does have eight buttons, and this is the Bluetooth version. So, guys, what we're going to do, flip the camera around, get to the desk, and we'll get to that right after this. All right, guys, I got the camera flipped around here to the desk. Kind of want to walk you around the outside of the box first. Kind of go around the outside sleeve. Face of the box, going to show you kind of what the controller looks like. Going to have 8-bit dough, M30 Bluetooth gamepad. Like I did mention, they do make this in a wireless version as well, I do, I do believe. They have Switch, Windows, Android, Mac OS, and Steam. And then it can, contents in the box is the Bluetooth gamepad and the USB cable. And I'll leave a link in the description below when I got this off of Amazon. It's not an affiliate link or anything, guys. Just kind of want to help you out if you're interested. Bottom side of the box, going to have a little logo here. Side of the box... Not much to it. As you can see, you got a little damage from shipping. And then on this side of the box, not much to it as well. Then the top of the box, it's just going to have 8-Bit Do's logo. And then, like most 8-Bit Do controller guys, this is just a little slip cover. This kind of moves us aside and follow the way. I'll show you the back of the slip cover real fast. It's going to show you the operating systems and requirements, like with Switch, Windows, Android, Mac OS, Steam, Raspberry Pi. Then it's going to also show you for firmware updates, go to support.8bitdo.com, which is something I do appreciate with these guys, is the fact is they do support their controllers. All right, guys, like I mentioned, as you saw in the sleeve, had a little tear, but the box itself is a real high durable construction, and I do like it. It's a real hard box, thick, more like a wax cardboard style paper. But as you can see, there's no designs or nothing on it because that's what the slip cover is for. But when you flip this off, I mean, like I said, you can see here to the thickness. I mean, it, it's, it did its job by, you know, protecting the controller. Not only do they do that with a double-layered box, but they also have a nice little plastic form cover that goes over the controller itself, so it doesn't come in scratched and damaged. Let me do this to the side real fast. But then it comes in the box. You've got a USB-C style charging um, cable, so it's about a three-and-a-half-foot long cable. Then you've got a double-sided instruction manual. It looks like Chinese on one side. Then you've got the American um, and English on the other. It's going to show you your button layouts. Then it's going to show you how to pair so you the switch, it's kind of Android, Windows, Mac, and then how to use the turbo function. Now, the one thing about the turbo function, guys, is to let you know, it does not work on the switch. The turbo button is the star button, and that actually is your capture button on the switch. So, guys, walk around the controller. I can't stress to you enough how, how good of a quality feeling this controller has. I mean, it feels really good in the hands. I mean, it's one of these controllers that, man, I wish this is what the Sega Genesis controller was back in the day. But like I said, guys, kind of walk you around it. It's going to have that Sega-style D-pad where it's kind of got the circular buttons, kind of raised up a little bit, but it feels really good. Not too clickish, as you can hear. And then you've got your star button. Again, this is your capture button and your turbo button. Minus is going to act as your select button. This is your home button for Android, Windows, Switch, and, and what ha have you. And then you've got your start button here. Then you've got your traditional Sega XYZ, ABC. Then they've added the L and the R. And then this is your pairing button. Then you have your USB-C input for charging. Also for data, and, you know, if you do hook it up for firmware updates. Back of the controller, guys, it's going to kind of show you, to remind you how to pair it to each different system, as you can see here, which is kind of a nice feature to have. That way you ain't got to always look at your instruction manual. Bottom side of the controller, you're going to have your LED indicators. So it's going to let you know what system you're pairing with. Now, one of the things to do to kind of pair this with different systems and kind of show you that is if you want to pair it with your Switch, what you want to do is press and hold the Y button. And then you also want to hit the pair button. And then basically what that's going to do is going to enter it into the switch mode and all four LEDs at the bottom will start to rotate until it does connect. And then if you want to wake your controller, just hit the home button. Now it doesn't wake the system, but it does pair it to your switch. Now, if you paired it to another device, say like an Android TV box, then obviously it's not going to do that. You'll have to go through the repairing process again. Um, to pair it with Android, just press and hold the B button and the start button to turn it on. And then LED one will blink over here at the bottom. Now, do you want to pair it? You have to hit the pairing button for up to two seconds and, you know, then pair it through your Bluetooth controller as well. Windows is the same process, only you use the X button. And then Mac OS will be the A button. 
Now, turbo function, like I said, guys, it, it only works on all systems besides the switch. And you want to hold your star button and whichever corresponding button, A, B, C, or X, Y, Z, and L and R. And to deactivate it, you would hold the star button and that same button again to deactivate your turbo function. Now, one thing to let you guys know, if it does have a low battery mode, the LED one will blink red to let you know it's going low. While it's charging, the red LED stays lit. And then when it's fully charged, the LEDs will actually turn completely off. It has a 480 milliamp battery, so you get about 18 hours of playtime. And guys, honestly, I, I'd have to believe it because I've gained now this about two and a half weeks. And yeah, I mean, it is what it is. It, it's something I, I would have to say they've done a real good job with it. Charging it does take about one to two hours of charging, depending on how fully you depleted it. But guys, let me flip the camera around and kind of give you my thoughts. Well, guys, I mean, there you have it. There's the 8-bit Doe M30. And honestly, guys, I am, I am impressed. I mean, this controller right here, I mean, it's probably one of my favorite controllers now to be using. I mean, if I'm going to be picking up Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, or even like emulating some, you know, Killer Instincts and stuff like this, this is the controller I'm going to use. I, I like the six-button face pad layout. kind of gives that arcade feeling. Then you have the L and R. So, I mean, if you don't need analog sticks... This is the perfect go-to controller. I mean, it, it's awesome to carry. It slips right in your back pocket if you want to carry it with you. Now, granted, I usually carry the SN30 Pro with me m most times now because I love the format of that controller. But, you know, I've taken this with me out of a few days on a few trips, and I've really enjoyed it. I mean, at the end of the day, I guess it's more about... It's all about how you can c connect to the game. And the hardware is great, don't get me wrong, because not only do I, you know, play on the Switch and the PlayStation 4 and 3 and, and, and all those systems, but I also do a lot of retro emulation and honestly, guys, depending on the game, the controller is your connection to that game. Well, guys, at the end of the day, let me know what controllers you like to use, whether it's on your Mac, if it's on Windows, if it's on Android, or even the Switch. Hell, even the PlayStation systems or Xbox. I mean, at the end of the day, I've really liked the 8 bit um, controller series for the third party. They're probably the top notch. I need to try a couple of retro bit controllers. I just haven't gotten any of those in yet. But other than that, guys, just also let me know kind of what you're looking for. If you'd like to see this controller in action, hey, let me know. Shoot me some comments below. But guys, just thank you for tuning in today. Like I said, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Maybe go ahead and share this with your friends. We're always trying to grow the gallery. And above all else, guys, just thanks for watching.